What is going on with this fucking team? What the fuck is going on with this team? Uh, what's packing with you, YouTube? <laughs> I'm out here at the lake doing a little bit of fishing and shit with the kid. But let's get into this shit. <sighs> Green Bay Packers star defensive player Zadarius Smith is now unhappy after signing his $66 million free agent contract with the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers have has decided to throw a conversion implication within his contract, which is going to keep him from making... Well, put it like this. When, when Zadarius Smith and Preston Smith signed their damn contracts, right? They didn't really, the Green Bay Packers didn't give them all their guaranteed money. What they did was they was going to break it up as, as uh, they were going to break it up into bonuses for the, for the re remainder of the years that he was going to be there. Now, Zadarius Smith was supposed to get uh, 14.8 million. Um, but now it's looking like that's not going to happen. They're going to what, what they really what they're going to do is they're going to pay him in a lump sum, which is like 20, 28 point something million. And then they could either trade him next year or cut him and, and save cap space. But what I think the Green Bay Packers are going to do, and it's all dependent on what his stat line looks this season. If he if he gets 20, 20 sacks this year and maybe let me say i want to say maybe maybe seven eight tackles for losses maybe 10 let's say 10 tackles for losses throughout the whole season then the green bay packers are going to have to give him an extension but we got jair contract coming up next year we still got to figure out what we're going to do with Devonte adams and a plethora of other a plethora of other players contracts that's mixed up in there too um i, I want to jump on a deep end and say the packers don't bring back zadaria smith next year but still we 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 don't know we don't know how the season is going to pan out for him hopefully it pans out well and we can win the super bowl but reports say allegedly that he's unhappy about what's what's happening with his contract so i hope <laughs> this pisses the green bay packers players off to the point where they go out there and perform at a high level win the super bowl and if the packers try to keep them those players say fuck you and move on so hopefully this could turn out to us winning the damn bowl proving the front office wrong and then those players walking i wouldn't have a problem with that as long as it came with a goddamn uh ending scenario on a good note for this team um but i mean Zadarius Smith was starting to become like a generational player for the Packers, man. A, a generational defensive player for the Packers. You know, we've had plenty of great defensive players, generational defensive players with the Packers, like Clay Matthews, uh, Charles Woodson, Nick Collins, uh, uh, B.J. Raji. Um, uh, 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 you know, I could go go on and on about the defensive players that the Packers have that you know impactful players man Zadarius Smith is a very impactful player he's one of those guys that you want out there on the field that other teams got to fucking worry about you know what I mean so hopefully this light a fire under his ass after all of the shit he was doing for the Milwaukee Bucks going to the games getting the crowd riled up garnering garnering that that emotional championship feel you know what I'm saying? Him and Aaron Jones at the game. They want that feeling. And, you know, the next thing we hear is the Green Bay Packers kicking him in the nuts about his contract. Like I said, man, the Green Bay Packers really, 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 really spent a lot of money during that free agency period to appease the fans. But like another YouTuber said, I can't, I forget his name. Um, I think... <clears throat> with covid coming around um i think it's really affected and it impacted the way that you know a lot of these teams are going to go about these contracts and that's why i keep stressing the issue of the green bay packers having a goddamn owner 
Just get up. Somebody needs to buy this team. Somebody needs to buy this team and, and just have one owner instead of 47 fucking board members who have a different agenda. You talk about a team being on a cusp of getting a winning a Super Bowl. On the cusp of winning a Super Bowl. And now they start pulling this, they start pulling all this bullshit out. Like <laughs> this fucking team, man. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like I said, man. Like I said, man, I, I would love to see a bunch of I'm offended shirts out there at a home game, man, for the Green Bay Packers. You know, their first home game. Well, I think we, yeah, they got to play against the Saints away, I think. But the first home game, man, I would, I would rather see a whole shitload of I'm offended t-shirts out there on Lambeau Field. A whole bunch of t-shirts that say snubbed on the front of the, of the fucking t-shirts. Just to let the Green Bay Packers front office know, y'all fucking up. Y'all are fucking up. Fuck Tom Brady and fuck George Kittle, Greg Kittle, whatever the fuck his name is. You know, you got a lot of people talking shit. Um, I, I, I would expect that kind of be behavior from, you know, divi division rivalry teams. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that's what I would expect that kind of banter from. But we beat y'all ass last year, George Kittle. Um, but anyway, y'all let me know. <laughs> Can somebody tell me what they think? I, I need I need other opinions, man, because this shit is starting to just... I don't know, man. This shit is starting to touch, the, touch my spirit, man. Just a little... Just a little too deep, man, with all of this nonsense going on with this team, man. I don't understand it. This shit needs to either either it ends horribly or it ends on a good note. But the way that the front office is going right now, it's just looking like it's not going to end on a good note. You know? Where you could potentially lose a generational, uh, uh, once-in-a-lifetime quarterback, uh, a top-tier um professional route running receiver who is being put out there as to being the number one receiver going into this fucking season and your best your, your, your best defensive player one of the best defensive players on the defense now you fucking around with him is Adrian um, uh, is Adrian next is Adrian almost next is are y'all gonna tamper with his goddamn contract next it, <laughs> all of the people that y'all gave all, all that big big free agency money to y'all just gonna say uh hey guys dial it back a little bit <laughs> oh fuck i don't know what to say man i just know this is embarrassing to see this organization go through this bullshit at the scrutiny and 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 at the uh, at the uh, comedic comedic satisfaction of public opinion, you know, it's just you don't see you don't see no other teams doing this kind of shit to their quarterbacks. You don't see no other teams doing this kind of shit. It just seems like whenever the Green Bay Packers do some shit, it's just highly publicized. I don't get it. I don't get it. I do not understand it. Nobody's talking about Michael Tom Thomas potentially not being able to be ready to play this year. Nobody talking about that that the, the guy that broke the, the reception record. Nobody's talking about that shit. Nobody's talking about the Seattle Seahawks guy that damn near almost beat beat a woman to death. Nobody's talking about that. 
But we sitting up here talking about Devontae Adams, Zadaria Smith, and Aaron Rodgers potentially not being Green Bay Packers next year. Mm -mm -mm. Sad, man. Sad shit to see. This is very sad to see. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully this has a happy ending to it, man. <laughs> hopefully this should have a happy ending to it because right now, this story don't look good. It's your man, Cage TV, man. Shout out to Go Mike and his channel, man. Uh, uh, shout out to all of those dudes that was on the... Um, I was on his channel going live. They went live for 11 hours. Damn. But well, shout out to him, man. Next time he go live, I'll be on there chopping it up about basketball or whatever. Football season is coming right around the corner. So that's basically where my, my, my channel is about to cater to. No more of this nonsense going on with uh, this other bullshit that's been put out here in the YouTube, YouTube is fear. Um, and I like to end it on this note with this video by saying, once again, the black conscious community, YouTube creators, you guys suck. Go Pack Go.